In this short demo, we are going to set up MQ running in Kubernetes alongside an instance of Kada. And that's going to allow us to scale some consumer applications based on the depth of the MQ queue. So for this demo, there's a few things you're going to need before we get started. First one of those is you need to go to our GitHub repo and clone, the, clone that. Next thing is you're going to need a Kubernetes instance set up and ready. And the last thing you can see on the screen now is an MQ instance. All of these things are free to get right now. You can set up a free IBM cloud plan and uh, follow along. So this demo is nice and easy to join in with. Uh, we've got this all documented on GitHub and you can follow the link, the link on the screen now uh, and join in as we go or uh, just to do it at your own pace. Before we start, let's take a quick look at some of the code. So we have a consumer and a producer. The consumer is going to read messages that we put onto our queue and the producer is going to publish those messages to our MQ queue. Both of these files live inside the deploy folder and there's just a couple of things that I want to make you aware of before we dive into the demo. So the first one of these inside the consumer is an optional parameter for the number of seconds to sleep between each message. We've set this to five for the purposes of the demo. And inside the producer, we've got two more optional arguments. The first one of these is the number of messages to send, and we've set this to 50. And the second is the number of seconds to sleep between sending a message. And for the purposes of this demo, we've set that to one. Now this is quite important uh, because for every five seconds, a single consumer can only read in one message, but the producer will have sent five. And this is what's gonna help us demonstrate scaling. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna do a quick LS of my current directory and it should match up nicely with what we've got on the right hand side here, which is our GitHub repo. What I'm now gonna show you is our MQ uh, queue here and just do a quick refresh to show you that there are in fact no messages on that queue right now. Next thing to show you is our Kubernetes dashboard. So we've got Kubernetes here running in IBM Cloud on the free tier. You can see that because it expires in 26 days. And once you've loaded that up, you get this uh, nice Kubernetes interface here and you can see we've got a uh, Kada namespace set up, but, but that's about it at, at this point. Uh, there's, there's nothing else here. So what I'm now going to do is uh, add our secrets file in, into this uh, workspace. And you can see it almost immediately uh, pops up in there. So uh, now what we need to do is start up a consumer. So that's now gonna start setting itself up. You can see that what happens almost immediately uh, is that consumer starts up with one pod, but Kada actually quite quickly comes in and, and terminates that. And you can see underneath it's, it's saying it's terminated it, which means we're now at zero pods. The point being is that right now, there are no messages on the queue, so we don't need to have a consumer running. And you can see now I've started up uh, my producer. So the producer is going to start putting those 50 messages onto the queue. And we should hopefully see the consumer starting up fairly quickly and acknowledging that there are now messages on the queue. So you can already see one, one pod starting up there and it will go progressively uh, until it's realized it's at a point that's it's almost like an equilibrium for the number of messages that are coming onto the queue. You can see now it's already scaled up to four instances, which is uh, going to be ne near enough to where it's going to be going to be comfortable. Uh, the light green there shows you that it's all happy running pods. And the orange that you can now see again on the screen, that's a pod that's starting up. So we have actually reached that five pods that, that we expected uh, for this demo. So the producer is still putting messages on the queue. And I can't imagine there's too many of them left at this point. So we will, uh, oh yeah, there we go. So you can actually see now that the producer has finished putting messages on the queue. That's what that dark green shows you there. And what I'll do is I'll jump back to our MQQ, give it a quick refresh. There we go. And you can see one message on the queue. So if I give that a refresh again, we should be down to zero. Perfect. So all the consumers have actually read off all the messages at this point. But having said that, they haven't all stopped. The reason for this is because there's a 30 second wait time in there by default. You can change that. And that's just if there's any long lasting messages or anything like that. Uh, we, we make sure we capture those. So, so we add in a 30 second wait time to make sure that anything like that 
it gets taken off the queue before we kill those pods. And you can see now nothing else has come in. So those pods have all decided to shut down. And uh, as you can see on the screen, all our pods have gone dark green. Everything is completed and we're back down to a kind of zero state. So that's it for this short demo. Hopefully you've got your MQ instance up running and scaling. If you need more information or for other tutorials, you can follow the link on screen now.